Has there been a major event quite like Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia in recent memory? The matchup promised to be an explosive event, and oh boy did it deliver. The fight itself was a sellout, with thousands of fans packing the arena to see these two young fighters go head to head. Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my commands, touch them up. From the opening bell, it was clear that this was going to be a fight for the ages. Davis Garcia capable of producing enough power to light up the Sin City Strip. They have up to 36 minutes to ace their moment of truth. Despite his best efforts, Garcia was unable to match Davis's power, and eventually he met the same fate as most do when up against Tank. In the end, it wasn't even close. Tank was too powerful for the young Ryan Garcia. He said, I've watched Floyd. I look at all the tapes of Ray Leonard, Manny Pacquiao. I'm going to be the face of boxing. Are you now? I'm definitely face of boxing. Absolutely. <laughs> the new face of boxing has now set his sights on his next opponent. Is Frank Martin the most underrated lightweight you did? Absolutely. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to wake him up. This will be Frank's toughest fight to date, but it's a challenge he relishes. There's also bad blood between the two. The pair nearly had a street fight outside the ring after a heated sparring session a few years ago. At the end of the sparring, like, they had to break it up, like Floyd and them. Floyd, it was, a, it was a few people in the gym, quite a few people in the gym. They ended up having to break it up. That last round, they broke it up. So, like, I'm thinking it's gonna, we finna bang. Like, like outside, it actually, yeah, yeah. Like. Ultimately, this fight is personal for both men as if either guy needed a reason to want to hurt the other. Two quick and elusive guys. You guys will see a part of Tank that you've never seen before that Frank will bring out of him. Absolutely. This will be a great fight. And has recorded the knockout victory! The speed, the combinations, the power of Frank Martin on display. Frank Martin! so clinical that I put it in with just about anybody right now, to tell you the truth. You can't fight the power of Gervonta Tank Davis! Tank deserves plaudits for taking this fight. Heck, Tank deserves credit for taking two tough fights back to back. He might very well be the unofficial best fighter in the sport. In life away from the brutality and safety of boxing, Davis is the product of an empty system. He's a child of social services, damaged and made vicious by all he saw and witnessed growing up in Baltimore. Oh my! He was the youngest of three boys, and at five, they were taken from their mother. His father was in prison. The boys bounced from care disaster to care disaster until a grandma recovered her lost flock after three years. A uh, little backstory, just me, my mom and father was on drugs. My mom left me and my brother in the house by herself. Mm. Someone called the um, Child Protective Service and you know, uh, they came and got us and we was in foster care and group home and things like that. And I was always fighting in there. 
my grandmother fought that got us back. So we was the new kid on the block. Yeah. New kid in school. Yeah. And uh, I was fighting a lot in school, fighting a lot on the block. And uh, I was fighting. And one time I fought in front of my house. And my uncle ended up walking outside the door and seeing me fight. Yeah. So when he seen me fight, he was like, you could do something. Yeah. So he took me to the gym. Yeah. The gym was probably like, I want to say like, a 10 minute walk from the house. Yeah. So when I went to the gym, I was getting the love that I wasn't getting at home. Little Tank found Calvin Ford in the gym. Ford had served 10 years. Baltimore's unrelenting gun violence even claimed Ford's son, who first trained Davis alongside several members of the gym. While inner compasses malfunctioned for many in the streets, Davis said his guided him. Ford, who remains Davis's lead trainer, said he's long been taken by the determination of the fighter nicknamed Tank. After deciding to turn pro at 18, instead of waiting three more years for the 2016 Olympics, Davis aligned with manager Al Heyman of Premier Boxing Champions. From there, he's never looked back. Oh, oh vicious right hand! Petraza goes down! For the ghost, his story was slightly different. My first day in the gym, I, I, I loved it the first day. I hit 18, what I'm gonna do, I was lost, so I'm like, I'm gonna box. I just knew I was gonna put my all into it, and here I am. In the beginning, I was paying promoters to, you know, fight on the shows, I would pay them, then I paid an opponent. And then, you know, I walked away with my cut. I was selling tickets from all the way to fight like 13, but I knew I just had more. You know, I knew I was just, I was just different. My first time coming to Texas, we had to sit down with Derek and I kind of told him my story and what I wanted to do. I talked to Errol, because anytime somebody called me, I'm gonna talk to him and see what he thinks. You know, he was he was cool, you know, down to earth, you know, wasn't boastful, when one of them young dudes that, you know, they talk trash. Same thing like that, he just a guy that was trying to work hard. With him training and working out, that's keeping me focused and keeping me on my game. He was just like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an opportunity, I'm gonna train you. But I wanted to prove to them, you know, what I, what I was about. I was asked, like, what's the weakest part of the game that you know? I had to fix some things, you know. Derek critique my style and, you know, fix a lot of the flaws that I had when I first came. Fundamentals are the key to success in life. It's Frank Martin, the most underrated lightweight in bitch. Absolutely fucking lovely. But guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wake him up, because it's about that time. The speed, the combination, the power of Frank Martin on display. Frank Martin! I feel like he's right there on the cusp. I'm gonna bring the dog out this fight. I'm gonna go out this fight, and I wanna dominate. This ain't gonna be the nice ghost. Let me tell you the guy's gonna strike you down.